Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the talk by Annette Lede. Now, before we get started, I'd like to introduce her to you. Uh, she's a French director and choreographer who has developed a unique approach to intercultural creation. After training as an actress in France, she came to India in 1978 to study Kathakali at the Sadhanam and Kalamandalam institutions, participating in performances of the two troops in India as well as abroad. She has directed and choreographed performances for both Indian and Western dancers, actors, and musicians. She has been associated with Alliance Française, the Trivandrum, and Kerala for many years and has presented numerous works in India. We are extremely happy to have you here with us. And now I'd like to invite Ms. Eva Martin to say a few words. Good afternoon, bonjour, dear Annette, dear friends. I'm very happy to welcome you here for this online celebration for the 14th anniversary of Alliance Française. Um, as Priyanka said, Annette is coming uh, for many, many years in Kerala, and she is also a great friend of Alliance Française. The first show that I saw, uh, well, actually, it was on video. It was the famous Katakali King Lear, which was absolutely beautiful. Uh, so when Annette offered Alliance Française the Tribune Room to collaborate on a new creation for forthcoming new work Estella, based on the writing of Marguerite Duras, which is one, one of my favorite authors, I didn't hesitate and I said just a big yes. So we started this collaboration at the end of 2019, and I hope we will be able to show this work next year. Um, as you may know, Marguerite Duras was a writer, a playwriter, a screenwriter, a film director, and she was one of the major figures in the French literature. So, um, Annette will give you more information about it, and now I would like to invite Annette to talk about her work. Thank you. Thank you, Eva. Thank you, Priyanka, for this uh, introduction. Bonjour à tous, hello to all, and lavarke namaskaram. Um, I just first, I want to wish a happy 40th anniversary to the Alliance Francaise and to its team. Um, I have indeed, I have studied Katakali for several years in Kerala, as was said earlier, at the beginning of the 1980s. I was, in a way, I was embedded in this traditional field for about 10 years. After that, I directed a, a number of productions, as you mentioned, which all included Katakali artists from Kerala. This was very priority for me. We first did Katakali King Lear. The first version of Katakali King Lear was done in 1989 with very uh, famous artists of the time. And it was an adaptation of Shakespeare's play in Katakali. In 1991, we did La Sensitive, which was a very different uh, approach. It was uh, inspired by a poem by Shelley and also a ritual from Kerala, the Kalamerita. In 1995, it was Trans Malabar, which used elements of Teyam and other Kerala rituals. These productions were designed for dancers trained in Katakali. I worked with their energy, movements, facial intricacies of expressions, but in very different narrative contexts. From 1994 onwards, I invited female French contemporary dancers to join the team of Katakali dancers. I have since focused on stylistic dialogue between Katakali techniques and Western contemporary dance techniques. The introduction of French dancers in the team made it easier to approach French authorities and the Alliance Network in India. The first instance of this collaboration was Cinderella Otherwise. This was the first time I put together Katakali dancers and French contemporary dancers. Uh, for us, Cinderella, the story of Cinderella was a sort of universal story, a common, common to all cultures. 
And some scholars even say that it probably originated in India's law. At that time, when I started this project, I was settled in Trishur uh, for a few years and I launched the project under the pandal that we had constructed in the compound of the house I was renting. The creative process took several periods between Kerala and France. The last rehearsals were held at the Levy Hall uh, with the permission of the palace family. Our accommodation then was provided by the Kerala Tourism Department of, at the Chaitram Hotel. So it was already a very collaborative uh, project. At the end of the residency, an All India tour was organized by Mr. Ashok Adisheyam, who was then the director of the Alliance. So we performed in Trivandrum, Bangalore, Pondicherry, Madras, Bombay, Ahmedabad, Goa, Hyderabad, Calcutta, and Delhi. And later on, the play was also uh, extensively shown in France. We, we had more than 100 performances of this Cinderella. So we'll show you a few photographs in a diaporama. Uh, it is very short. It's only two minutes or one minute and a half or something like that, if you don't mind, Eva. So she will, she will just uh, send this uh, diaporama that will give you an idea of the atmosphere, both of the uh, performance and the way we approach the rehearsal. This, this is at Levy Hall. And these are the dancers. They were all very young at that time. And I want to stress that all of them have been continuing to work with me over the years in different productions. So this was at the Chaitram Hotel. This was part of the, of the uh, Cinderella tour communication. Right, that's it, They're very short. So after this, in 2000, there was yet another uh, opportunity to collaborate with the Alliance in a different context. We did a collaborative production with a theater company from Germany. It was a production of The Tempest. And uh, at, we had a time of uh, practice in Trivandrum with the, uh, the help of the Alliance who provided a place for public demonstrations and encounters with Trivandrum audiences. And then a tour was organized all over India again, but this time it was mostly organized in collaboration with the Max Müller Bhavan. We performed in Trivandrum, Delhi, Mumbai, Hamidabad, Pune, Madras, and Bangalore. And there was an extensive tour in Germany. We later produced two other pieces for three Indian dancers and two French contemporary dancers, but they were not performed in India, unfortunately. In 2002, it was L'Etoffe des Songes, The Stuff of Dreams, which was a pure dance exploration of some of the themes of The Tempest. And in two, 2005, bigbang.org. <laughs> it was a, a, a play that, um, question the origins of life and of the world and of the creation and all this in a scientific, poetic and humorous manner. And we drew from different texts and uh, for example, from the Rig Veda. More recently in 2015, 2016, uh, the creation of Mituna gave us the opportunity to reconnect after a little gap, to reconnect with the Alliance. Mituna explored dialogue, which is at the heart of our company work over the years. Mituna was mostly rehearsed in Kerala at the Valden Pond House in Irinyalakuda, which we like very much. And we have practiced there several times. We had several rehearsal camps there, following which the Trivandrum Alliance uh, no, the, the piece was premiered at uh, the Ignite Dance Festival in Delhi in 2015, following which the Trivandrum Alliance participated in a tour, which this time was coordinated by the Chennai Alliance. So Mituna was performed in Trivandrum, Hamidabad, Chandigarh, Chennai, Delhi, and Pune, 
And later on at the Théâtre du Soleil, who has been one of our partners over the years also in Paris. And we will show you a little diaporama of the 2016 tour of Mituna, which traveled through the different alliances I earlier mentioned. Eva. <laughs> Right, thank you. So these are lovely memories. In recent years, the link with the Alliance got even stronger. Uh, Mr. Francois Grosjean, who was the director before Eva, Mrs. Martin, who was the director of the Alliance, created strong connections with the cultural authorities of the Kerala government for the recreation of our Katakali King Lear production. It was a big team of highly professional Katakali performers from Kerala. Uh, the team was composed of a few of the original performers of the 89 uh, first version of the production and a number of newcomers in the, in the production. So, uh, it was a very, very exhilarating time. And this was a very powerful collaboration between the Alliance, the Kerala government, Parad Bhavan. And uh, we had a rehearsal camp at Parad Bhavan for several weeks, during which not only did we rehearse uh, the, the piece, but also we conducted public rehearsals and several encounters with student, college and university students from Trivandrum. So that was a very interesting time. We had also question and answers with them. And it was very, very, very interesting. So we are going to show you uh, uh, a few images of this period of rehearsal and encounters. And in, we hope it gives you an idea of how we work. It's a series of photographs. Eva, if you, if you don't mind, you can launch the, 
Dot world. That's the central story. It's a very simple story. It's a very strong story and uh, a very tragic story. And, but it is interesting how much of the story you can have in nine scenes. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's the interest. Right, thank you. And thank you, Hélène, for putting these photographs to, together in this diaporama. So after the set of rehearsals, and maybe you could recognize, we did the premiere of this show at the Levy Hall once again. So it was very, very touching for us to get back in that beautiful space where we had rehearsed Cinderella years ago. Anyway, I want to stress that uh, this collaboration gave us a, a, a very, it was a very special moment for me also because the first version of the Katakali King Lear was performed a lot all over the world on a period of 10 years, but in India, very little. It was, it was done in Trishul once, in Trivandrum, and not in perfect conditions, I must say. So it was a, a great, great achievement and pleasure for us to be able to present uh, this production all over India, once again, along with the Alliance Network and under the, the uh, organization of the Trivandrum Alliance with Francois Grosjean, whom I wish to thank again here. We performed at Trivandrum, yes, Chandigarh, Chennai, Delhi, Mumbai, and Pune. Uh, 
And later on, there was a series of performances in Paris at the very famous Théâtre de la Ville venue. So thank you all for this. So just to come back to the present project. Um, for many years, I drew my inspiration both from Western literary texts and from Kerala traditions, as you could understand. My main partner for those for the choices for the choice of themes and topics uh, was my Australian husband, David McCruvey, Dr. David McCruvey, who was at the origin of Katakali Kingly project and who did the adaptation for that. Well, this perhaps explains the, uh, that most of uh, my inspirations came from the English repertoire, uh, Shakespeare, Shelley etc. Uh, over time and through conversations with our partners, we felt that there was a need and a request even to adapt from French literary sources. I discussed the issue with Hélène, dancer Hélène Courvoisier, who has been a member of the company for about 20 years now and who knows and uh, experienced my approach for a long time and knows me very well. So we discussed this and actually, she had herself been inspired by Mar Marguerite Duras for one of her personal outdoor solo performance. So through our discussions, we decided that we would explore this direction further. Together, we have been researching, we have been working on the conception and the uh, construction of this new project, STALA. Marguerite Duras, as you were saying, Eva, is one of the major and iconic figures uh, in the French literary and artistic field here in France. She was a writer, playwright, screenwriter, and film director, and she created a very singular style in all those domains. She was born in colonial French Indochina in 1914, and she died in 1996 in France. Very early in her youth, she told her mother that she would become a writer. That was very clear in her mind soon. She started publishing in 1943. Since, since then, she has written some 50 novels, some 50 theater plays, and she has written or directed some 20 films, which have become really iconic as well. After rereading all of Duras' novels, watching her movies, listening to her many interviews, uh, Hélène and I decided to focus on the texts and the films of the so-called Indian cycle. This Indian cycle is composed of novels and films written or directed by uh, Marguerite Duras over a period of about 10 years at the end of the 1960s. It is noticeable though that Marguerite Duras never went to India, except perhaps a stopover, perhaps in Calcutta on her way back to France. So she seems to have chosen to place these works in a sort of fabricated India of her own in order to maintain her connection with Asia, but in a different perspective. In this cycle, the interesting point is that the same characters travel from one novel to the other, from one film to the other, often without sticking to a very precise narrative, but always referring to a initial, an initial event that took place and that happened during a ballroom party. This event is recollected as a late motive again and again at different places in the cycle, novels as well as, as well as films. Eventually, we concluded that the best novel for us to draw inspiration from for our choreography was the text L'Amour. L'Amour is the last text of the Indian cycle. What has particularly interested us in this text is the fragmented writing and almost anonymous characters, rather evanescent beings. And this echoes to our nonlinear 
approach of choreography writing. We tend to be non-linear. And uh, also, Marguerite Duras herself said about this text, L'Amour, she said, j'ai voulu, enfin j'ai voulu faire, on ne peut pas juger du résultat, faire un livre complètement physique, organique. Meaning that in this book, she wanted to create a book that was completely physical and organic. And the organic aspect of her writing is what drew us into this project. She writes in very short and simple sentences with a lot of uh, uh, space information and movement information. This very much echoes, once again, this very much echoes my personal cho choreographic approach, which is more and more going towards minimalism, searching for the essence of physical being and meaning. To quote from the English translation by Kazimali and Libby Murphy here, I quote, the stillness of the text and the static nature of its characters is a deception. In fact, it is full of movement, people shifting from one place to, one, to another, from place to place, endlessly moving with the rich palette of variation in eras that only French can provide. Venir, partir, revenir, repartir, marcher, aller, traverser, se promener, and so on. Since the characters are unnamed, there are mo many moments when it is hard to know who is who, unquote. Creating a contemporary choreography is a bit like writing a poem. We do not attempt to reproduce or illustrate the complex narrative patterns of Marguerite Duras' text. Our choreography evokes situations, characters' emotions, monochromatic atmosphere, which are emblematic of her fictional universe. We have also been intrigued by the recurring, the recurring name of Estala, which is the name of a city she mentions through her Indian cycle, that, but we have linked it to the Sanskrit word stala, stalam in Malayalam, meaning, to my knowledge, a place, a spot, a room. And Marguerite Duras' writing has very much to do with places, rooms, houses, places in general. However, in our preparatory work, we never found out whether she had any knowledge of this, this word in, in Sanskrit, stala, and why she had taken, the, what, where and why she had taken this name for that city, imaginary city. Anyway, we have decided to use it as a title and to create a sort of common ground between her texts and us. I would like also here to stress that L'Amour is, uh, is presently being translated into Malayalam by Professor Sri Devi K. Naya, who was the former head of the NSS College in Trivandrum. The translation is being supported by the Pap Tagore program of the French Embassy in Delhi, and it will be the very first translation of Marguerite Duras' work into Malayalam. For those who don't know Marguerite Duras, uh, we hope to trigger your curiosity and encourage you to pursue the discovery. This project, again, involves two of our friends, Katakali dancers, Mr. Unikrishn Nayar and Mr. Manikandan, and of course, French dancer, Hélène Courvoisier, who all have been members of the company for many, many years, almost 30. Last year, exactly at this time, we rehearsed at Walden Pond House in Irinyalakuda, which I told you we like very much. And then we practiced and presented the work in progress at Bharat Bhavan. So here also, we will show you a short teaser of the work we have done at Walden, and, uh, and then I, I'll proceed.
l'obscurité est presque totale. Il regarde comme en plein jour. Longuement. Il bouge. Il va vers le balcon et se retourne, regarde encore, fixement. Il revient encore. Il passe encore devant le voyageur assis dans la pénale. Ne le voit plus. Je vois que le voit. Tout à coup, il s'immobilise au milieu de la piste. Montre l'espace. Décrit l'espace entre les photos de la C'était ici. Il s'arrête. Là. Sa voix est incertaine. Il attend. Debout au milieu de la piste de danse, il attend encore. Puis, de nouveau, il montre l'espace. Décrit l'espace entre les fauteuils alignés. Répète le geste. Attend, ne dit rien. Marche. Parcours l'espace. Et parcours le corps s'arrête. Repart. S'arrête encore. Se fige. On chante. Très bas. On chante. Il chante. C'est la musique des fêtes mortes de Estala. Les lourds accents de sa marche. Il avance. La raideur habituelle disparaît d'un seul coup. Le voici, il avance. Il chante et il danse en même temps. Il avance sur la piste, dansant, chantant. Le corps s'emporte, se souvient. Il danse sous dictée de la musique. Il dévore, il brûle, il est fou de bonheur. Il danse, il brûle. Une brûlure traverse la nuit de Estala. Thank you. Merci, Eva. So, the premiere of Stella was supposed to mark the 40th anniversary of the Alliance Française of Trivandrum at the invitation of Eva. But uh, unfortunately, for all of us, this horrible virus has blocked everything and everybody and we will have to wait another year to make this project uh, possible. So uh, as per today's schedule, if nothing changes, the team will be rehearsing in Paris in April, May at the place, a place called Arta, which is part of the Théâtre du Soleil compound. And later on, hopefully in November, next November, <laughs> next year, with the support of Eva and the Alliance, uh, we will conduct a final rehearsal camp in Kerala and tour the piece in India. I think from what Eva told me that already five alliances have confirmed their interest, uh, Trivandrum, of course, Chennai, Pune, Mumbai, Bangalore, and we hope there will be more. So in addition to the Alliance Network and the French Embassy in Delhi, the project is also supported by the Mairie de Paris, by uh, our French Association Kelly, and uh, the ARTA, uh, which I was mentioning earlier. We hope the Kerala government might jump in and help also on this project. That would be very fantastic. Um, as can be seen, The company has had a long history of productive interaction with the Trivandrum Alliance, as well as with the Alliance Net Network. Over the years, most of my creative projects have been conceived in a collaborative and bridge building spirit. We generally share time of research, rehearsal and touring between Kerala and France. I wish here to express my thanks to all those who have made my work with Katakali possible. First and foremost, the many artists who have taken part in my creations at one stage or another over the last uh, many years. I miss them all. I miss you all. And uh, I hope that we will soon be able to meet again and continue the journey together. 
the Alliance Française Network and the Cultural and Tourism Departments of Kerala government, Bharat Bhavan and Institut Francais in India have also helped and been of great help. And I thank them again. My connection to India, to Indian arts and Indian artists have filled up the most imp important part of my creative life. India has been a source of inspiration and a second home to me in many ways. Uh, working with Katakali artists has been extremely fulfilling in artistic as well as human terms. I have been working with a core team of four or five dancers from Kerala and from France for more than 30 years. And in my different productions, I have been a witness to their lives, their personal lives in many ways, and to their evolution as performers. And to me, it has been a beautiful love story, which I hope will continue for a while yet. So I very much hope my collaboration with the Trivandrum Alliance will resume soon, Eva. And so we can continue interacting both with the team, but also with the city and with the audiences of Trivandrum. Again, I wish you a happy anniversary. Namaskaram to all. Now, I think we have a Q&A session as well. So if anybody has any questions, we can ask. I'm so Madha. Actually, uh, my, your talk was very interesting for me because uh, I worked on Margaret Duras for my uh, PhD, my thesis. Oh. So many things you said uh, where I could connect it with my work. So Great. that was very interesting, actually. Fantastic. And, uh, so uh, many things, like uh, when you said about Calcutta and uh, Vis Consul, all that came to my mind, actually. Uh, so there's a sort of a geographical dislocation which I, which I had actually worked on in Margaret Duda's work. Because be, without being in India, she was connecting, she was giving a lot of uh, pictures with a lot of like, motive were there of India and places like Mumbai, Calcutta. And she used to displace uh, the scenes, etc., which was very interesting, which I connected with the identity crisis. I think Estala is also something like that. Yes, yes. Yeah. Where, where are you? Are you in Trivandrum? I'm in Cochin. I am in Cochin, Kerala. I can't see you on the, on the screen. Okay. I didn't uh, watch in the video. Sorry? Uh, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, Marguerite Duras has been a, a subject for, for many um, academic research and artistic researchers. There has been numbers of, of colloquium and symposium and conferences about her. She's it's a very, very rich domain. And uh, people, some people are passionate about her and her work, of course. And uh, yes, she, she has this, this is what, is very interesting for us is this notion of displacement as you as you were mentioning so we feel free and we need to be free uh, when we are creating a new piece a new dance piece so we both we we, we get nourishment from her uh, imaginary um, fantasies and and uh, descriptions and characters and situation and we feed from that Yes, and then we feel free about it. Another interesting thing which I noted was actually uh, there's a lot of space uh, that uh, spatial, spatial temporal side of her uh, because it was uh, and the colors with which she played, you know, the white aspect and the opposition of colors, which uh, was very interesting actually too. And there's a lot of depth in uh, her work. Maybe it looks very, so it's not at all superficial. That's what I found. Uh, it's we can go deep and deep uh, because because, the, sorry, because her writing indeed is very simple. Some of her phrasing are very very simple simple words. I was mentioning parler, marcher. Yeah, there's a lot of depth and philosophy. That's in it. the end, yes, in the end, it's very deep, very very deep. Yes, and exactly. it, we feel connected to it. Yeah, exactly. And exactly. Also my different other productions also somehow have a, a sort of connection with this. 
Hmm. It's very contemporary also, though she lived in 1996, she passed away. We can always connect it to the our world, our contemporary uh, aspect of the world also. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Very recently, you know, with all the, 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 the fire disasters, she had sort of previewed that. Exactly. Announced that. Yes. that we will have to teach our children that uh, those um, big fires that we see everywhere all over the world is normal. And it's, it, it is going to become a normal a catastrophe situation of the world. She had to do that. She was linked to nature and she is actually, there was a, so a lot of uh, propagation for that also to conserve nature in our works, which we could find it. It was not very obvious, but we could get the meaning from that. She was very, all her works are linked with nature, the rains, uh, the, the trees, sea. the forests, the river, the water. It's the like, water, the sea, and we, we are catching from that. A lot. And we are working on that a lot in, in our choreography. We are we're trying to find a way. I think I'm talking a lot. I got carried away. No, thank you. It's very interesting. Thank you. We'll meet. We'll meet in Cochin soon, yeah. as soon as possible. As soon as the planes agree to take us back there. Yeah, we hope. <laughs> Any other questions from anyone else? Oh. <laughs> I would like to meet Sri Devi also because she's doing the translation. Yes, yes. yes. This has been a wonderful meeting. Uh, we, we, we got to know each other in Belfast <laughs> during, a, during a conference on women in Indian Shakespeare's. Oh, so good. That's very, very interesting. Also. Uh, I want to ask you a question, Annette. Uh, how long you were, uh, you were associated with this project? It's going on for how long? Ah, so uh, I was telling you that last, I mean, 2018 and 19 have been very engaged with the Katakali Kingly reproduction and performances in India as well as in France. So as soon as we finished um, the, the performances in Paris, we started on this project. So that means it's about a year and a half. And, 2019. Uh, sorry? 2019. Thank you. We had the first set of, uh, of research time at uh, Irina Lakuda in, in Walden. Uh, that, was, that was last year. Yeah, that was exactly last year, actually. We were there in November and we did a, a work in progress presentation at Varad Bhavan last year, about this date, wasn't it? Something like that. Very, yeah. A year ago, yeah. I would like to know how Estella uh, differs from your past works. Is it? I can't say. I can't say it differs um, mm -hmm. because for me, the whole my whole process, process. a continuation of of um, a history in a way. Uh, it, it's it's uh, from from the very beginning. It has started with Katakali Kingi. We got out of the Katakali framework with La Sensitive. And from La Sensitive on, it's, it's a journey. It's a journey both uh, mentally and physically. And this is one of the reasons I am working with the same dancers over the years. It's because it is, it is a long process. It's a unique process. <laughs> I don't know of any other company who has done that. Uh, it, it's a it's a story which is developing uh, over the years and from one production to the other with different steps. So the the there are differences, of course, but there are, there are, there is a, a a deep common background to all of them, and this is the the search and the the crave for communication for communication between. Uh, bodies and and souls and minds which belong to different cultures belong to the world <laughs> and belong to different cultures and have different ways of expressing themselves and how can we create a language that is I can't say common but that communicates and a dialogue a conversation between those 
different bodies and and approaches of the of the mind and of the artistic gesture it's different in the sense that suddenly indeed we, we are closer to french uh, literature so that's different it's 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 probably the, in a way it's the first time as i was mentioning earlier um, but that doesn't it doesn't change the, the the deep root of the of the pro of the of the process and of the trajectory. Merci. Well, merci à tout le monde. Thank you, everybody. Merci beaucoup. Uh, and Vegam uh, Kana. And uh, see you soon, as soon as possible. I'll be happy yes. to talk with you all again. Okay. See you soon and thank you for participating.